वेलकम बैक लेट एस गो थ्रू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ओके वट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज डिसाइडेड ऑन ए क्लाउड माइग्रेशन स्ट्रैटेजी टू मिनिमाइज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओन आई टी रिसोर्सेस ओके दे वॉन्ट टू माइग्रेट टू क्लाउड करंटली द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज ऑल न्यूल एप्लीकेशन रनिंग ऑन इट्स ओन प्रिमाइस एंड यूज एन ऑन प्रिमाइस लोड बैलेंसर that exposes all apis under this url okay they are having everything on premise behind a load balancer as part of migration strategy the organization plans to migrate all of its mule applications and also the load balancer to cloud up 1.0 what is the most straight forward and cost effective approach to mule application deployment and load balancing that preserves the public urls okay so to understand this you need to understand a bit about our domain naming servers dns how they work okay let me just draw the diagram and i will explain you assume that this is the data center of the customer right now this is the data center of the customer and they are having lot of mule servers where your applications are deployed and they have their load balancer on premise this is on premise they are having their own load balancer and this load balancer of course will have a public ip right and what they have done is they have mapped this with https colon slash slash api dot acme dot com so how do we map domains with ips actually you need to understand this concept so i will explain you how do we map ips with domains so first of all you should own this domain right acme dot com you have to purchase this domain okay i will tell you how i have purchased a domain and how i can map a domain to a public ip so actually i have gone to godaddy and in godaddy i have purchased my domain i have a domain two domains i have way to learn online.com and algorobo.in are my two domains in godaddy okay let's assume that i want to map my machine which is having a public ip to this domain okay what i have to do in godaddy is i will go into that domain manage dns okay i'll click on this and then i need to update something called as dns records in godaddy see i am not doing hosting on godaddy i am just purchasing a domain on godaddy but i want to host my uh, servers on my own premise i want to host my load balancer on my premise okay so in godaddy i purchase the domain then i need a dns provider i can choose any of the dns provider let's assume that i have chosen google's uh, dns provider okay so i have a google account okay so i went to google cloud i decided to use google cloud for dns service so in google cloud once i log into my google cloud account under network services i have cloud dns a dns server on cloud okay here i have to create a dns zone create zone and i can give a name i will say siva zone then for what domain i want let's assume that it is uh, acme.com or algorobo.in 
because I am having it. Okay. Then I will click on create. So Google will create a DNS zone for me. Um, what is the name of the DNS zone? Siva zone. In that it creates something called as records, record sets. There is a record set of type naming server created NS. So I'll click on it. <laughs> so this Google is giving me naming servers ns-cloud a1.googledomains.com a2.googledomain it provides four naming servers and what I have to do is I have to take these naming servers and in my GoDaddy account uh, I have to change these name servers to point to Google's naming servers I have to click on change I have to change it all four I have to give. So my GoDaddy knows, okay, Google is managing my uh, domain. Uh, my domain names are managed by Google's name servers. So I have to do that. Then Google is managing my algorobo.in domain name and these are the naming servers. Okay. Then what I have to do is I have a public IP here, right? I have a public IP for my load balancer, right? I want to map my public IP to API dot, for example, algo robo dot in. Okay. So what I have to do is what I have to do is I'll go to my uh, Google Cloud DNS zone. I will add a record set for API dot my domain name algorobo.in you can assume acme.com whatever and if I want to map API dot algorobo.in to an IP address I have to create a record set of type A type A record I have to create and here I have to give my IP address assume that the public IP of my load balancer is 10.1.2.3. Okay. So what I have to do? I have to give 10.1.2.3 and create a A type record. So whenever request comes to api.algorobo.in, then requests will be actually going to the public IP. That's how we can map this one. Okay. So the organization is having on-premise servers behind a load balancer map up to this. Now they want to migrate everything to Cloud Hub. So what we have to do in Cloud Hub, if you are deploying, I hope you know, in Cloud Hub, Cloud Hub is on top of AWS. It is using AWS as its infrastructure as service provider. And in Cloud Hub, we can create our own VPC, a dedicated VPC. Okay. And inside this dedicated VPC, we can have our own dedicated load balancer. See, by default, there is a default VPC in Cloud Hub and default shared load balancer also in Cloud Hub. But if you are using shared load balancer, can you configure your own certificates at the load balancer? No. So if you want to use HTTPS, of course, you need to configure certificates, right? You cannot use shared load balancer. So if you want to configure certificates, maybe you need to have your own dedicated load balancer. Okay. So this is a VPC. Now, once you deploy your applications to Cloud Hub, they will be running in workers behind this load balancer. And what Cloud Hub will do is it will it will automatically uh, give you the load balancer URL. Let's assume that Cloud Hub is giving you maybe for this dedicated load balancer, the URL is uh, abc.com. 
x.abc.com will be your application URL at load balance. Now what you need to do? You need to map this api.acme.com to x.abc.com. So x.abc.com actually will be pointing to the IP of the dedicated load balancer or the load balancer IP will be mapped. That means in Cloud Hub, they have a type A record already created. Type A record is already created on Cloud Hub. Type A record means what? They have mapped x.abc.com to the IP address of this load balancer. So, what you need to do is, I have Google account, right? In Google DNS, which my organization is using, in Google DNS, I have to map this API dot, whatever, algorobo.in, for example, to point to this URL, not the A record, point to what? X dot ABC dot com so this is actually called as c name c name or canonical name so whenever requests are now go coming to api.algorobo.in my google dns server it will forward the request to x.abc.com and of course this x.abc.com is mapping to ip that is what we should do so now let us go through the options in this test. Okay, the options, actually I'll directly go to the option. Uh, first option is saying, deploy the application to Cloud Hub 1.0. Okay, we deploy all applications to Cloud Hub 1.0. Update the C name record of api.acme.com in your organization's DNS server to point to a record of Cloud Hub's shared load balancer and apply the mapping rules in shared load balancer to map URLs. But the problem is, this is this looks to be correct. But here they are saying shared load balancer. So, if you are, if you want to point to your own organization, HTTPS, HTTPS means it should point to your own certificates, right? Your clients will request for your own certificate. You cannot give your own certificates with shared load balance. So, if I go to next option, it is almost the same. Instead of shared load balancer, they are saying dedicated load balancer. So, updating the CNAME record in your organization's DNS server, that means if my organization's DNS server is Google Cloud, I have to create a CNAME record in Google Cloud. Okay, in Google Cloud, what I have to do? I have to go into uh, here. I should not create an A record. I'll have to delete it because I don't have an API IP right now. I have to create a C name record in my organization pointing to api.algorobo.in and the canonical name should be what? Uh, the x.abc.com given by x.abc.com create. Okay. So um, this is the one. Okay, the, I think uh, API dot. Uh, I have to give this canonical name. It should be of the format server one dot abc dot com. Correct. Whatever. Actually, it is correct. It it can create. What is it saying? Server one dot example dot com. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It it you have to give this canonical name. That's the concept. So, um, this looks to be correct. This option looks to be correct. 
this option looks to be correct but whether shared load balancer or dedicated load balancer is a question so here they are saying most forward cost effective approach dedicated load balancer will be of more cost shared load balancer will be of less cost but if you want to expose under http yes you need certificates so certificates if you want to configure your own certificates you have to go with dedicated load balancer so for me i feel that this option is correct but as they are saying cost effective approach actually even though you are using uh, shared load balancer you can configure https on shared load balancer also but you cannot configure your certificates so my answer would be dedicated load balancer only the other options are not correct you can go through these options okay for for me i feel that this is the correct answer okay let's see you in next question